Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to make a movie with Rockstar Editor in Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, first, to turn on the recording, I can hold down on the directional pad on my controller, or if you're using your keyboard, you hold down left all. And as you see here, you can also press F1 or F2. F1 starts normal recording, F2 is action replay. So a normal recording would be as so. You can see the progress bar on the bottom left there. Uh, the length of the video really is determined by the amount of pedestrians in the area, not about the, the length you go around the city or whatever. And I guess you've all right, I'll show settings in a second. All right, I can stop that, save the recording. Also, you should know if you put it into first-person mode, it will only record first-person mode, as in you can't change the camera angle. So you can change a few other things, like the uh, uh, overlays and that kind of thing, but we'll get into that. So if I record this, this would be that. Uh, let's try an action replay. So if I have an action replay, nothing is actually recording until I choose to save the action replay. If you get killed, which I, it'll be kind of hard to get killed here unless I throw a grenade, there'll be an option to... Sure, we'll save that shit. Let's go to the settings. I'll talk about these options. So 50 gigs is your maximum amount of storage. I think the next lowest is 25. I cannot go down since I already have 35 gigs used. Auto save action replay on death, so that is the thing where if I die, that action replay would automatically be recorded. But it kind of like it stops right before you die almost. It's just the nature of how it works. So you, you won't see the character fall down and get a, a long shot or anything. Uh, YouTube upload status, public, private, or unlisted for your own reason. Maybe you might want to do unlisted if you just wanted to have this video show on the Rockstar Social Club when you export it and not really be known to YouTube audience. All right, so Rockstar Editor tooltips will show the different button presses you can use while you're in the Rockstar Editor. It's useful to have on. There's a button to turn it off if you wanted to. And upgrade graphics settings for video export. What this will do is when you are exporting, when you're creating the actual video, it'll turn up some of the video settings, uh, not the ones that require a restart of Grand Theft Auto, like texture quality and grass quality, and I believe shadow quality, all would cause a restart so those won't be upped but what would be advanced would be shader quality i think refraction quality water quality particles uh, i don't think it messed with soft shadows but post effects ambient occlusion and tessellation are all definitely turned up probably any astropic filtering as well advanced graphics none of these would be turned up all right failed to save clip oh that's right so let's turn off action replay there are restrictions on how you can record. So if I start recording here, and let's say I was playing the game and I wanted to go look at the map. When you pause it, that clip was stopped and a new clip was started. Also, let's say I hail the taxi right now. Use your phone and hail a taxi. All this would be re recorded, like him looking at the phone. But if I hailed the taxi and got into it, you would switch into first person mode when the uh, driver turns around and I say, hey, buddy, where do you want to go? That's for whatever reason, that's first person mode. There's also some various restrictions. Oh, let's stop recording. Cancel this one. There's various restrictions. Certain like sex scenes in the game, the game will like force you not to record. Certain times where people pop in and out of the scene, it doesn't want you to record that. Um, I mean, you can record it, but you can't change the camera angles. Getting going to create a new project, and to even make it anything, we have to add some of these clips. So let's add clip one. Uh, no. Clip two, clip three, count with me, four, almost there, five, all right, and save the project, we'll call it Countings, aha, one, ah, 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 two. So here was the first clip. Camera, you have a, your normal game camera, this is the what the game saw. Yeah, sure. Why did you do that? You have free camera, which is what you'll use most of the time to look around, and you have a sphere of influence, which actually looks kind of large where I am right now. And this is the maximum amount that your camera can travel from the distance of the player, whether that's a character in director mode 
or your online character, basically just you. Uh, so there are a couple other people in the shot. Oh, yeah, preset front, rear, right, left, and overhead. The traditional Grand Theft Auto view. Uh, the shake is the only thing you can do for these other these other clips. You have a you have a handheld camera, like it's someone holding it. A drunk, uh, ground vibration, air turbulence, turbulence, and you know you can, the shake intensity. You can turn it up. Shake speed. 200 to 5 percent and an explosion but bam that's intense let's go back to handheld camera and i'll do a free camera and there's a certain amount of people in my sphere of influence which i, which I can use to look at so i can look at the player i can look at the gardener over there you can barely see and oh that is it that is it for now See if I move the playhead. Are there any cars in view? I'll probably get this person now. So let's say I look at Michael. <laughs> so that person in the car. This is the next closest person, which must be oh, another car on the street there. And then the gardener. The controls also change while you're in this mode. So it's really not that great to edit with. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Uh, you can see the controls at the bottom of the screen here. This, you can turn that off if you'd like. I already forgot the keybind. Doesn't really matter that much. All right, let's move with target. Actually, as a better example, let's move with that car over here. So move with is obviously very good for driving scenes. That's a little bit of lag there. Sometimes it takes a second to catch up. And let's say I look at the player at the same time. Now he goes out of range. So I could then let's get off the look at player. And say this shot ends up here. What we're gonna want to do is there's two blend. Oops, excuse me. Oh, yeah, let's go to this. The mount types, flexible, rigid, or default. Uh, flexible, rigid would be, see every bump, you're stuck with the guy as it's like mounted on a rigid pole. If it's default, I think it's still, it's still rigid to the up and down, but not the right and left. And flexible is fairly loose, just travels with the player. That's what you'll use most of the time. Now our blend modes, linear and smooth. Linear is a straight junction between two points, where smooth is more of an interpolation. Uh, so it'll gradually, it's better like, say you had to, you wanted to go in a circle around a stationary object like Michael. Get this out of the way, start a new, and then we'll go a little bit over here. like this. So if this was a linear blend, it'd be sort of an abrupt junction between points. If it's a smooth blend, it sort of interpolates between the points. You can think of various uses where that would be very handy. Also, it should be noted, uh, let's say I have this I want to make it linear so you can see this better. Uh, if I have a handheld camera, this is actually going to be really weird, and then I take off the handheld camera. Yeah, let's not blend there. There's sort of a jump. Pop. The screen pops into place. Whereas if I kept the shake, oops, the, shake the same, a handheld camera, it's much more smooth, and you're going to want to keep that in mind when transitioning between certain shake modes, because you, you might want to use handheld camera if you're like a man on the street type thing. You want to get a certain effect for your video. Speaking of effects, we should show the different filters. So you have a lot of filters to play with. Quite a few. 
Uh, you can also mess with the contrast, brightness, saturation, all these, all these types of effects. And then you can save that effect. So say you wanted the rest of the video to look a certain way, have a certain mood to it, you can hold on to that. But I'm going to bring the default back. Should also be known that certain filters have their own added bonuses, so to speak. So if I go over here to Graveyard Shift, there's a very uh, clear depth of field effect going on in the background. So maybe I could use that to my advantage to make an even cooler looking clip for whatever I wanted to do. Also should be noted, things like cathode, it looks like a like TV lines, like scan lines going up and down the screen. You're not going to want to use that in YouTube. It just won't show up properly. YouTube doesn't have the bit rate for it. A lot of these darker things just won't really translate as well. I guess if you had some sort of, you know, if you want to up the video to, you know, after it's rendered, bring it up to 2K, 4K, something like that, so it could be seen better with higher bit rate, you can try it. Kabuki, Kabuki Cho, Kabuki Cho. This one is extremely useful for when it's pitch dark. I will show an example of this later. But if it's pitch dark, you will be able to see the player with Kabuki Cho. Kabuki Cho. <laughs> and that's all your filters for now. Oh, black has, a, has an intensity to it. Okay, I, I did not realize that's. Oh, okay, some of these other ones have some intensities to the filters. They all do. They all do. What are you, foolish? I didn't even notice that before. Things you learn while watching, while watching how-to videos. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Why don't you call one of your hot friends and ask them to go out with me? So here's a, a random example. I just popped back into the game and it was here. Uh, so if I record this, we've got the kids sitting around and we've got the uh, TV I'm going. Hungry. You guys hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Uh, so normally you can't hear any radio stations. If the radio was turned on, if... You would hear it in the game, but once you recorded it, it wouldn't translate to the Rockstar editor. The TV will, though, and it does cause some There's errors. There's gotta be something else on. Yep, and it lags behind what you're going to when you're trying to edit it, but it will still show up. So you could watch a whole video of booby anime girl. I, I don't know her name. Also, let's you say I want. Absolutely, completely, 100% sure you don't want. No, I don't want to watch your gaming. I'm just gonna walk behind you and interrupt you. It's a snot. All right, so let's say I wanted to change to Trevor now. The recording will completely stop. You can't record between those. There's a lot of things like cutscenes that won't be able to be re recorded. Spiked. If anything, he should pay me for the product. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes it's hungry. okay. Sometimes it's very dangerous to edit around the moving TV or when the TV's on and I, I'm not entirely sure why but it just is it'll make the game crash I'm hungry you guys hungry she's like oh my god my brother sucks and Michael's like my progeny is dumb I am doomed I'm leaving and Michael walks off and they watch TV And that is that. Saki, you little alcoholic shit. I'm hungry. You guys hungry? He's fine. He's just a concussion or massive internal bleeding or something. Poke him. That wasn't Saki's illicit booze bath. Something is going on outside. <laughs> I was hoping he'd load into something different. But let's uh, try, uh, let's go to director mode. For director mode, you cannot be in a car to do this. Director mode relies heavily on what actors you have found in the single player game. A lot of these will, will come standard, um, and the genders will change what type of different, like this is emergency services. We have a certain amount of male and a certain amount of female, and are, they're quite different. And let's say, uh, let's take this lifeguard appearance. You can change it, they have a few randomized appearances. You can play with this if you like, and this is all about choosing an actor to use in your online game. Online character will use one of your online characters. 
and there are story characters that you unlock by going through the game and opening them up. And the same thing goes for animals. You have to have a certain amount of, uh, you have to pay OD plants. And unfortunately, the only one I haven't gotten is the Golden Sasquatch, because it's really hard to get to. Uh, I don't want this freaking song in the background ruining things. So you have restrictions also, like the space alien. Cannot use weapons or enter vehicles. Uh, same thing goes for the animals. Alright, I'm going to choose this streetwalker. I don't know why I chose her, but whatever. It has to be done. We have to, you have to make a decision, alright? Alright, she landed in the... near where the, uh, one of the golden peyote spots for the Sasquatch is. Which I still haven't gotten. Too bad. So sad. So you can have her do different actions. You can have her do some dialogue. Hopefully you'd be, I guess, recording when you do this, because no one's gonna see. Don't be a stranger. This kind of crap. You can go edit the scene, which I never do. You can go to the garage. Uh, and why can I not change? Aha. Can't change the location while recording. Yeah, I imagine that would not be allowed. So I guess this is useful if you wanted to make a quick video with a certain actor. Okay. There are other settings you can change, like the time of day, what type of weather is out, the wanted status, uh, if they're invincible, we have low gravity, super jump, all these kind of things. To be honest, I never play with director mode that much. This was the director mode. As you can see, that pop-up of her talking that doesn't show up you just get the full don't be a stranger <laughs> the full acting right there thank you streetwalker your performance was impeccable all right let's get back into the actual editor because this is how this will help a lot more so we have different settings here and this is, might be a good time to show off depth of field so depth of field custom automatic Whatever's in focus in front of the player will be what the depth of field focuses on. So we have. To me, why don't you people listen to me? What's wrong with you people? I am bringing you a message that is important. All right. So Trevor walks into the frame, and you can see it now focuses on the back of Trevor's head, and it's back to the preacher. That could be useful for certain situations. You also have. Oops. Let's get. Uh... There are a lot of people in this scene, so there are a lot of people who can be the focus of either the look or the move with. Um, um indeed. Got the field, you can also do a manual, and it goes out to 10,000 meters, or in as little as, oh, who cares, one meter? Yeah, 0.5 meters. So here, they're they're in focus. Now they're out of focus. I guess you'd have to be looking way down the street for this to be the effect. Target. You can target individual people to be the focus. Uh, this would be good if you were in a car and say you wanted to look at each passenger for whatever reason and focus on them. And we have the automatic once again. Or, I mean, I guess you could do none. Default is the, the normal game mode, uh, depth of field, and none is none whatsoever. We should also get into audio. So let me move the camera here a little bit. If I am over here, and I, let's not blend in anything. If I'm over here, the audio by default, the default microphone type, will be at the camera. So we heard the cars go by, you could only hear the preacher very little bit. If I change it to target with no one selected, I'm currently not, I believe, I'm currently not looking at anyone or moving with anyone. The audio will now go default to the player. To me, why don't you people listen to me? What's... So the preacher is much more in audio focus. And cinematic. Cinematic is sort of like uh, the automatic depth of field in that 
the cinematic mode will pretty much take what's ever in the, the middle of your camera focus and focus on that. But it's, it's in effect, it's kind of like the same as being at the camera. So at the camera, audio, and again, at target. So other things you can play with as far as audio include these sound effects. You can add a crash at this point, explosions, miscellaneous, a bottle breaking. Oh, it gives some good ambiance to that. And the sound effects volume would control that. Eight to zero are your options. Game sound effects, this would be the, the all the car noises and that kind of thing. It's very quiet. Dialogue would get rid of the dialogue of any NPCs, including the players. Music volume is any music you choose from the score or radio tracks, not music that's in the game. Like I said, you can't record or hear the music that's in the game. And ambient volume is an ambient track that you can add. I will get into that in a moment. And score intensity goes from minimal, low, medium, high, maximum. And this controls how many instruments are in one of these scores that you can add. Nope, do not change anything. So an ambient track, we could add a fire background, we could add our own ambience for environmental noises, some more, if you wanted some more bird noises, if you wanted a horrible alarm, ugh. and let's, let's just say I wanted the thunderstorm. You could add it at this point at the beginning. That is an anchor that I've added. I guess I should show that. So you can add an anchor to any, let's add a couple anchors. Sure. So there are my couple anchors. I could start, say, I want a commercial area to start from the beginning. And then I wanted to add a radio track, which uh, I probably shouldn't do because YouTube is garbage. Uh, and like I would add my radio track somewhere down the line, which I'm not going to do. Or the score track. This is where you choose the intensity of the score track and how many instruments are in it. They're all kind of quiet. They're all kind of quiet. Yep, so I can snap to the play head or I can bring it in between. And let's say, let's add some text. Whew, too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. Text. Oh, yeah. All right, so we can change the color. Well, look at that light green. Change the font. Let's say I wanted to add, make this like a... Uh, Oh, that, is, that is horrible. I think this is the one they use for missions. I uh, don't do that. So I could sort of bring it down below, make it look like a mission is starting, and the mission is called Text. Text me. Opacity. That makes it more in, in, indivisible for liberty and duration for all. So duration is how long you want to add it. Let's say I add it to the timeline. We'll start out with text. And I can even copy that. Oh, you don't want to do that. Sure, you want to add the text here. You cannot overwrite something. You have to snap to the end. Also, I should note, it, should note that you can also copy clips. Hey, so I have this clip. Let's say I wanted to cut off the back end. There we go. No, I don't want to save anything. I don't want to mess with this. Why am I messing with a video I want to save later? <sighs> Delete that clip. So now we have all our garbage. Let's say I wanted to make that text. And the second one would be black make it black so i can start watching this video 
Already bored. Our score track is, is starting to kick in. You can, let's say, bump it up to maximum. We'll give it some more notes. And then go down to minimal and take out some notes. And you can hear the difference. Listen to me. Listen to me. Why don't you people listen to me? What's wrong with you people? I am bringing you a message that is important to me, and you ignore me? Here's a perfectly black clip. It's, it's dark. You can't see a thing. It's from one of the Halloween modes. I can't remember the name of them. Uh, and this is when you're in a ship and you're, like, hunting people. It's like Hunter Be Hunted. So, obviously, in these portions for the flashlights on, you can sort of see. Sort of. If I really want to be able to see... Aha! Now you can see something. As an added bonus, it's extra friggin' spooky. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, spooky. Just in time for Halloween. Zombie. I should mention you can mess with the speed of clips, which isn't going to matter when this guy isn't... What, what just happened? What just happened? Who moved next to me? <laughs> so that person just kind of ran through. Or we could do, you know, 5%. 5% to 200%, just like you have with the shake effects. Also, it should be noted, if you, if you had a handheld camera before this, it might be a good idea, now that this is at 200 speed, to shut the sh set the shake speed to 200 so it sort of matches. What is that? I was still 200. So let's say shake 200. And then goes back to shake 100. It kind of helps for the effect, trust me, that, that didn't look that great. Uh, but, again, if you don't match, you'll have an abrupt snap to what the normal non-shake camera looks like. Whereas that's much more smooth. It, it handles the transition nicely. Normally, you won't be able to save during cutscenes. Cutscenes are... will stop your recording, and you'll have to like quickly press record again after the cutscene's done. But in certain instances, certain parts of the game, Serious, nigga. you can actually get you can actually get this cutscene to be done in Rock's editor. But I cannot edit the camera properties. I can do depth of field, woohoo! I can do different things like the effects, but you cannot change the camera. I can also change its speed if I wanted to. I guess make it like. <laughs> uh, also, if, um, nope, let's say I added a, shotgun game, now that I have an actual, an actual song here, I can, okay, I can skip to the beat. Of the song. So you've got like a heavy rap song with a consistent beat, and you wanted to do different camera angles, assuming I could change the camera angle. Or maybe I just would, let's say, change the friggin' the effects. Friggin'! Change the effects every time the beat change. You have to find the proper beat. Proper! All right, so here I am in Grand Theft Auto Online, and entering, whenever you're not in control of your character, it's sort of like a, a cutscene. You won't be able to record any of that. So this, this action of going into the garage will not be saved as a clip. In fact, I think it just erased my recording. So I can record in here just fine, outside in the world, until you die. Uh, let's go start a race. Uh, 
All right, so I'm now starting a race. Unfortunately, I can only get one other person to join with me. But that's all right. That's how this game goes. Good job. I can't even, what, I don't have money on me? I can't even bet? Lame. So, as you can see, I cannot start, well, you may, may not be able to see, I cannot start recording now. And this works for all of the online modes, uh, whether it's a, any sort of mission or anything, I cannot start recording until the race actually starts. So I'm going to race this nice gentleman around the track. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to... Sorry, dude. Just trying to get past you. <laughs> so I've ruined so much day. It'll happen. It is Grand Theft Auto after all. It's not, it's not a game about nice people doing nice things. It's about ugly people doing ugly things in a beautiful city with a lot of ugly corners and dirt and grime and raw and real like life, son. Just like life. I've won. So now I'm back in single player and I can go edit the stuff I did. Oh, no, no, no. Let's add it to countings. So as far as the race goes, I have our race, always best, pra best practices to go into free mode and then follow someone. Let's move with the player. And then do an angle with the other dude. That is one mean looking mofo. Man, I'm gonna be sorry that I ever crossed him. He's gonna come, he's gonna come for me someday. Look at that, I'm gonna see that in my nightmares. Uh, I'm clipping against the window, but who really cares? Uh, like I say, do something like this, where I'm going to blend, blend right down on the steering wheel, and make it rigid, so we're just stuck with him. Grrr. He's looking back, he's like, is this guy gonna hit my ass? <laughs> Well, yup, eventually. Not trying to, dude. So you can see the camera is shaking a bit. Right there, particularly. That means we came into an object on the side of the road. Oh, it's this. This pole is now doesn't like the fact it didn't have line of sight for a second, so it's going to clip. So you can, I guess you can avoid that. But he's got a Superman logo? What the hell? I messed with the wrong guy. So I can now blend this so that the camera is closer. And somewhat avoids that pole. I mean, it still kind of hits another pole. But you get the idea. You'll have to edit around it and find creative ways so to not include those obstructions. All right. Did I, did I do this? I'll set the thumbnail this clip to be that. Sure, and that's the new thumbnail. And this might be useful, especially if you cut a clip in half and you only want to use like the first part of one clip. And none of the back of the other one. Say the middle was really boring. Where do you hit him? What's the part where you hit him? Right there. <laughs> and he's coming up. And he's like, oh no, Superman! I'm so sorry. Oh, I should set this thumbnail differently. Let's set this to be the thumbnail. And now I've got our two different clips. This is still our original clip. Say I start from a different point. I want to see exactly when I hit this guy. Whoa! And then the only thing you can do at the beginning and ends is add a fade transition in and out. This does not fade the audio, it's just visual only. You got any cabs available? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Appreciate it. 
All right, so here I have called a cab because I don't think I've really demonstrated. I don't. I haven't made clear how bad it is to record in first person mode. As you can see here, the pop up says, "When recording in first person, you will not be able to make changes to the cameras within Rockstar Editor. You'll be able to change the shake and what? That's my cab, bro." <laughs> so I was going to show how when you call a taxi and get into it that uh, it changes the camera into first person mode and does not cut off the you know the uh, recording so this clip right here where I've been walking around I can normally edit all this until I got into the taxi cab and the guy talked to me and then the whole clip is converted into you cannot change the camera just because you have one small instance of first person mode but that cab is done, so yeah. Also, let's turn action to replay on. Scene is out of hand. And. So that clip was saved. The action replay was saved because I had it on and died. Also, I should say, as far as clips go, you have a maximum of, I believe, 800. Maybe it's 700, but I believe you have a maximum of 800 clips, regardless regardless if you go over your gigabyte, your, your size limit or not, which was the maximum 50 gigs. All right, so here's a good example. I'm replaying the mission Meltdown, where you have to buy a suit, and you're going to get into this car. I can't record right now, so this won't be going to Rockstar Editor. Until now. Get in the back. Now, I know from experience, I'm going to want to save right now. A limo, Jim. Really? Although I missed that part of the dialogue. Your premiere. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Now, the first part, you're not able Open to that champagne, record. Jimbo. Now I can. Me I don't know why. Getting our drink oh, yep. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo, my dad's a movie producer. All right. Jimmy, so the reason I couldn't down here, which makes me a movie. I need to pause. The reason, so you can hear me. The reason I couldn't temporarily record there is because Jimmy was in the process of getting out of the top of the limousine. He's getting, you know, out of the sunroof, and for whatever reason, the game is like, yeah, hey, you're not gonna be able to record this. Don't know why. So you would not be able to control the camera. You'd have to be really quick and know, you know, make a clip before he goes in, make a clip as he's going up that you know you're not going to be able to edit, and then continue and make a, you know, save a clip, make a nice short one, and then save again, start a new clip when he's already out of the sunroof. Because now you'll be able to play with the camera Jimmy. angles of the Rockstar I'm editor. Write out the next two recessions without ever having to work. So anyway, we have our clip where we can freely edit it really stop messing around it's your premiere vinewood boulevard the oriental theater all right so we have that part of the video then this is the uneditable i believe yes i cannot cannot play with the camera whatsoever me and the big dog getting our drink on Good thing it has a limo camera there, which is uh, very similar. It's just a cinematic camera. Jimmy. And now again, I'm able to edit and get up close to this guy. Ooh, with the player or Jimmy. Uh, Same Jimmy, thing. Get back down here. Which makes me a movie Notice that the music wasn't playing in the background for the radio station in the limo. Here's our first person recorded clip cannot use the camera whatsoever, which is unfortunate, but just like that cutscene, we can play with the depth of field if we so choose, or a filter, maybe even make it look like he's looking out of glasses even more. He has cataracts, he's practically blind. Poor man, poor, poor man. Gonzo. Negative vignette, I want to see everything. <laughs> There's that cab that fell over. You right there. Good job. 
you did a great, great job. Frank is like, what, what, what is this going on? Oh yeah, look at Target. It focuses on their chest, not their face. Center mass makes sense. Right, so you got that. And lastly, this was our action replay clip. This scene is out of hand. And <laughs> two people said it. I'm going to move with her because I find her amusing. Scene is out of hand. Two people said it. That is wonderful. Or is that just the echo? So you see, the death was almost immediate. For some reason the blood stays on Franklin. Pain is out of hand. Unless you reload. Nope. You have to reload the clip. That is all you get as far as when someone dies. If I reload the clip, he will he not have blood on him. Hand. He is blood free. So right about... So right about the very end, he gets some blood on him. All right, so say I was very happy with this, I can go to a full screen preview and see how the movie looks in its entirety. You'll still have to load between clips and all that because it's not actually rendered yet. Right, right, so this is a big, long mess of nothing. We could save the project as, and this is... A Actually, no, that's not important. Save the project as whatever you want to name it. It's when you export. When you're going to export, you're going to want to choose 60 frames per, per second regardless. You don't want a 30 frame per second video. It's not going to matter if your computer can barely handle Grand Theft Auto V. You can render at a greater video quality and resolution than you would be able to play it. And it'll still slowly make the video frame by frame and give you the video you want. So even if you have a bad computer, choose 60 frames per second and choose a high bit rate. It will take longer to do, but you're going to want the quality. You just will. When you export, your export name is going to be what shows up in the actual video itself. So every video that's uploaded with the Rockstar Editor Right at the top left of the screen, you can see it says doggy dog. This is what the video was exported as, not what the project was saved as. So to end this video, I'm going to show you what a typical movie, what the clips might look like all edited up. It can be a long process. You look so effing hot. I want to hump you right now. We're never going to find our cab out here. Are you okay to drive? Drive? I can't even see. I feel like I need to lie down and like hold the floor. Obviously, this was biting social what commentary. Do? Uh, I don't know. I still wish I had made that zoom in faster. What are we gonna do? But better luck next time. So for like a typical video, it will take many edits. Also, this is one where uh. They get into the car and they get frisky and the game will no longer allow you to edit the camera. So I actually just cut that part out. Oh God, you know what that does to me? Shift that sweet little ass over here. Let the wolf see the rabbit. You smell like cigarette and buffalo wings. It's making me so horny. Come on, give me this. All right, all right, later Can't on. That. Hey, let's bounce, bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell? I'm sorry. Alrighty then. Watch it. Now what? Alright, that's a short snippet of one of my other videos. Uh, same project as yeah, Yogurt EX. I'm going to export it at 60 frames per second. It says it'll take a minute.
And I don't think you'll really be able to tell um, since my settings are already naturally and normally when I'm playing the game, it's they're fairly high. Uh, so these the upping the settings doesn't really do much for me. It may up the ambient occlusion to very high since I only keep it on high normally. But this process will take quite a bit of time. That's why I've chosen a very short video for the demonstration. So success, your video Yogurt EX, Yogurt Example, has been sent to the video gallery. So I'm going to exit out of this particular project, and I'm going to go to the video gallery. I see the other videos that I've uploaded to YouTube, and this one I can upload. Do you want to upload a video? Video privacy is set to public. Yes. And then it'll say you're about to upload, yeah, 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 terms of service, max 40 characters. Uh, for some reason, uh, I can't add comments. Special characters are allowed, but not commas. They give you 255 characters to do description. And you can do uh, any sort of social club club tag am I am I doing hashtags correctly it's show me how video is now uploading to YouTube so we can see here it's uh it'll take a while and when it's done it'll light up green I can pause the upload I don't know if I would want to you can start playing the normal game the uh, single player game and it'll still upload while you play uh, but I don't actually want this thing to finish. Yeah, at the very end, it'll be green. Uh, it'll it'll go through the processing mode, too. So it'll be fully uploaded, then it'll process, and then it confirms that it's on. Yes, it's on Rockstar Social Club and YouTube. Again, this is all unmodded, too. You can do some crazy things with mods. But just the base Rockstar editor, it has some, it has some interesting and powerful capabilities.